Hey guys, I'm LB, and uh, apparently in order to solve these tests, you have to be colorblind. Look at that, the colors. Ugh, that makes it so much easier to solve. Oops, come on. Yes! Okay. <laughs> That is clever. I can't do it through the glass. I have to look at it, remember it, and then solve it that way. Okay, how do I want to approach this one? Oh, that's easy. I think it's easy, anyway. No, that's not going to work. Oh, no, I don't want to focus on that. Let's see here, we want to separate all the colors. What's the best way... to separate the green and black? <laughs> Even looking at it through the glass and seeing the actual colors, it only makes it a little bit easier. <laughs> Go like that. That cuts off the red. The red's dead. But then we won't be able to separate the green. What if we go like this? That cuts off the red. Oh no, but... Hmm. Do I have to look at it through a different lens here? No, that- that- that makes it... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe. Maybe I have to look at it through this lens. Yeah, that was it. You had to look at it through this lens. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, which lens do we have to look at this one through? Does it even matter? This doesn't actually change... This changes the colors, but it doesn't... Doesn't change the grouping at all. It's still the same grouping, so... What about this? Okay, that makes the colors group more. I'm assuming those two different shades of yellow count as the same yellow. And that... those two different shades of blue probably count as the same blue. So in that case, we would just do something... Uh... Hmm... How 
do we solve it in this case? No. Wait, is it really that simple? Okay, so... No, it isn't really that simple, because that, that leaves the, the whites with the blues. That's not gonna work. Oh, it makes me have to redo the previous one. No. I don't like that mechanic. <laughs> I'll say it honestly, I don't like having to redo the previous puzzle, but it probably does that to make sure that you understood the previous one and weren't just guessing. Hmm. Pretty sure this is the lens I have to look at it through, because if I look at it through this one, it doesn't actually change the grouping at all. Oh, wait a minute. Orange... Oh, it- it changes the pinks to orange. Maybe this is how I have to solve it. In that case, how would I do it like this? If I go... No, that puts the orange and red together. Can't get rid of the blacks if I do it that way. Is there another lens I can look at it through? How do I get into here? Which lens do I need to look at this thing through? This lens makes the least colors... ...but this lens also does something. I still don't know how to do it on this one. Maybe like that? No, cause then... That's not gonna work.
I don't know. This is confusing. I have no idea. These are very difficult puzzles. I have to do it like this at first. But then how do I separate the white from the green? Which is yellow. The yellow-green. No, because that connects... That doesn't... I literally do not know. This only makes it harder. Is there another window I can look at it through? No, this just- this is normal. get into this room here? Maybe I have to go in through some other way? Let's try that. <laughs> Since I spent like 15 minutes doing nothing interesting at all. 
Maybe we could try that. I'm so sorry for all the raging inducingness that that has caused. I know that it is not easy to watch, especially if you know the solution. Now we're on top. Well, what good does that do? Can't even look straight down, that's right. What's this in- what's in this box? Oh, I didn't know I could go under here. Whoa! Where am I going now? Where is this? Where am I right now? Oh, I've just gone in a circle, okay. I still don't know where this room is. Is this the upstairs? What is this? How have I not been in this room? Oh, this is the roof of the building. I don't even think there's a way up to it. Maybe. I have no idea. I think that building up- up there... This one is where I'm supposed to come out at after I solve all these puzzles. Whoa! These flowers freaked me out here. get this door to close again, right? Or not. Okay. I don't know how to solve it! I'll look around some more in this episode, and if I don't- if I don't figure out what I'm supposed to do before the end of the episode, I'll call the episode, and then between episodes, I will try and solve that puzzle. Because... that is just ridiculous that I can't solve it, and it looks- it looks so simple. So simple and innocent looking, and yet so complicated. Yeah, this is the laser, so obviously I'm supposed to do this last... or last-ish. Here's another dock. More color stuff over here, it looks like. What is that? That's interesting. Oh, I can't... Oh, I can! What is this? It's like a pipe or something, with stuff coming out of it. Why does that look like I can just aim at it from here? Like, it looks like I could totally hit it if I get the right angle. Like, it looks like it's turned on is what I'm trying to say. Normally they're gray when they're turned off. Huh. This is quite a view, though. I don't think we've made it to the top of this mountain. Let's make it to the top of this, uh...
Okay, it's another tutorial panel, just like the one that I found near the beginning. Triangle can only be passed once, I get it. What happens if I pass it multiple times? Yeah. Wait, I can just... oh, never mind, that's just fading out. Okay. Oh. The most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. It is the fundamental emotion that stands at the cradle of true art and true science. Whoever does not know it, and can no longer wonder, no longer marvel, is as good as dead and his eyes are dimmed. It was the experience of mystery, even if mixed with fear, that engendered religion. A knowledge of the existence of something we cannot penetrate. Our perceptions of the profoundest reason and the most radiant beauty, which only in their most primitive forms are accessible to our minds. It is this knowledge and this emotion that constitute true religiosity. In this sense, and in this alone, I am a deeply religious man. I cannot conceive of a god who rewards and punishes his creatures, or as a will of the kind that we experience in ourselves. Neither can I, nor would I, want to conceive of an individual that survives his physical death. Let feeble souls, from fear or absurd egoism, cherish such thoughts. I am satisfied with the mystery of the eternity of life, and with the awareness and a glimpse of the marvelous structure of the existing world, together with the devoted striving to comprehend a portion, be it ever so tiny, of the reason that manifests itself in nature. Albert well. Einstein, 1931. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and, uh, hopefully by the time you join me for the next episode, I'll have solved this. Sorry for the painful, 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 painful attempts. Goodbye.